This is a presentation of the tag-based service mapping feature of ServiceNow ITOM. We will be using an OpenShift deployment on AWS. Here, I have deployed two services in my namespace. Let's look at the first one. It has four pods. Each pod has one container. And this service is identified by the tag with the tag key app and the value of HTTPD 24 CentOS 7. Let's see how that looks in Operator Workspace. Right here, I see that this service is now operational, is now being monitored, and any alert that would come in would be reflected by the color of that tile based on the criticality of the alert. How did that happen? Well, to do that, let's try to add the second service. So my second service here is, has two pods, and each pod has actually three containers. It is identified by the tag key app with the value of dopey. So first of all, before you deal with Kubernetes, you have to discover Kubernetes. We create a discovery schedule with this execution pattern where we specify the namespace, in which case we want to collect all the namespaces with some credentials and the URL. Once ITOM visibility discovers Kubernetes, it will discover all the pods, all the containers, as well as all the tags which are associated with all these resources. So the next thing you would want to do is say that I'm only interested in a few tags out of all the tags that may have been configured. So this is what we call a tag category. Here we have defined app and application as the two tag keys that we are interested in. Following that, we define a tag-based service family. And that service family will allow you to view the service candidates. You can see here that I've already discovered the HTTPD 24 CentOS 7 service. But based on this app tag, app tag category, namely the tag keys are app and application, what would be the service candidates? If I select this, I get a list of all the application services which have a tag key defined with a specific value. The one I'm interested in is this one, Dopey. So I will select that service and that service will now be added to my list of services that I want to ma manage. Here it is. So if I select it, in the interest of time, I will force a recalculate of the service. And subsequently, I'm going to make it operational to make sure that it is now managed through Operator Workspace. And as I make it operational and save this configuration, if I go back to Operator Workspace, now my service is here. And any alerts again happening on that service will be reflected in Operator Workspace. Let me select this service and click on the service map. As expected, I see that Dopey has two Kubernetes pods, and each pod has three containers. This concludes the demonstration of the tag-based service mapping feature in ServiceNow ITOM. Thank you.